Bank of Canada left the overnight rate at 5% at the last meeting. This is six meetings in a row. I'm going to tell you all about it starting right now. So yeah, six meetings in a row. We haven't moved rates since last summer. With rates at 5%, I get people's pain if you're trying to refinance, if you're trying to purchase a property, especially if you're trying to purchase for the first time. 5% plus that 2% uh, stress test, yeah, that's painful. But if you look at long term, 5% is actually a decent uh, mortgage rate or interest rate. Historically, going back, say, 100 years, you'd see rates typically between 5 and 7%. So we're actually right where we should be historically. The only problem is, of course, prices for houses are really, really high. What's all this mean with our, our housing market here in Waterloo Region with rates at 5%? Well, I can tell you this, March 2024, this March and March 2023, both Marches were record lows going back 10 years. So that 5%, that's really put a damper on, on buying and selling activity, no question about it. And from what I've heard south of the border, uh, how the U.S. economy is doing, I don't think they're going to be cutting rates anytime soon. Their stock market, the Dow Jones uh, Industrial Average, that's at around 37,000 points. If you look back to 08, when they had the housing bubble burst, it was at 6,800. So they've gone up five times since then. And with their economy ticking along like it is, uh, they've got some inflationary pressure as well in housing. They're starting to talk about it down south too. I don't see them cutting rates uh, anytime soon. So perhaps the end of summer, maybe the fall. Certainly the Canadian economy, we've had inflation here as well. It's, uh, they want it at 2%. And I think we're in the, we're in the mid twos or even close to three, depending on what measure you, uh, you're going by. But uh, they're not in any rush to cut rates here as well. So that's going to keep a lid on demand a little bit. And I don't entirely think that's a bad thing. Right now, I was reading about housing starts in the province and it was underwhelming this past year. They needed to get a lot more shovels into the ground and get a lot more projects going on than what they did. So we're behind on that. CMHC looking at the broader Canadian economy says we're going to take 10 years to even catch up to the amount of demand we've got. And then, of course, federally, we've got super, super high immigration levels for people wanting to reside here, as well as college and university students and temporary foreign workers. In all those uh, you know, immigration uh, fronts, we really need to cut the numbers back uh, to more sustainable levels to kind of align that with the amount of housing stock we've got. And until that happens, we're going to keep on seeing this uh, upward pricing pressure, no, no question about it. Because Simply put, people coming into the country, they need somewhere to live as well. And if we don't have enough housing stock for the people already here, bringing in more people is just going to make that situation worse. Anyways, that's where we're at right now. We're at 5%. And I think the governments and the central bank is going to probably keep them there for the foreseeable future. I'll get back to you in a later video. Um, obviously, as time goes forward, the economic picture changes. But right now, we're looking at 5%, at least to the next meeting, certainly. Anyways, that's all I got for you. Thanks so much for watching and have yourself a fantastic day.